Ladies and gents, I have just bought a new car and this video is sponsored by eBay. Now, before I show you the car that I have bought, quick PSA. I know it's been a whole year since I've posted on this YouTube channel. And if you want to know the reason why, check out this TikTok on my page. I explained the whole thing, but basically it's because I was at uni. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is the new car. Now, ladies and gents, before I explain to you why I have bought this absolute shed of a Honda Jazz, let's have a look around the car. So here the car is in all of its glory. This is a very granny spec Honda Jazz in the silver. Um, first thing to point out is that these headlights are cloudy and awful. The wheels are terrible. Oh yeah, the wing mirror around this side of the car is, is held on by duct tape, which is pretty good. And the car is just a very, a very standard whip. It is a manual though. That is one thing this car's got going for it. And it did come with USB ports. I didn't buy that. That has come with the car. So it is a, you know, top spec, as they say. It has got five doors as well. So we've got space for any, any friends that want to come into this car, which I, I doubt, to be honest. And the last thing I will point out is the fact that this car has clearly had a little scrape on the back here. There are a few kind of rust spots and some scrapes on the rear bumper. But other than that, guys, it is just a car and it's not looking too bad. Now, the key question is, why did I buy this car? Well, the reason is I want to do another series like I did with Boris. If you guys remember on my TikTok, I did a series where the top comment picked the next modification and we're going to do the exact same thing with this Honda Jazz. And uh, I don't know, it might see a K20 swap one day, but that is yet to be seen. So that is the plan. And in this video, I want to get this car ready for modifying. So that's going to include a service, a clean, and yeah, just making the car look a little bit more loved than it currently is looking. So let's do it. So the first job on the agenda is to get the car cleaned. Now, you might be wondering why I'm driving. Uh, that's because I don't have any cleaning stuff at my house. So we're just going to have to go to my local hand washing place. Now I was going to do kind of a road review on this car, but having driven it, there's not really too much to report if I'm honest. It does have very squidgy suspension and the manual gearbox feels good. Um, but worryingly, it does have a check engine light, which is a uh pretty worrying. I'm hoping it's just a lambda sensor or something, but other than that, guys, there's not too much to report, so let's get the car cleaned. So here we are, my favorite place to get my car cleaned. These guys are absolute legends. So that's job number one done. Job number two is to service the car. And I'm going to service the car with what's in this box. This is a Honda Jazz service kit and it is absolutely excellent. Before buying this, I didn't know these things existed, but this essentially has everything in it that you need to service a car from oil, to the oil filter, to the spark plugs, to the sump plug and all the filters. So this is great. Now I found this on eBay and I used their Assured Fit feature. Now, if you're wondering what Assured Fit is, Basically, a should fit is a tool where you can find parts for your car quickly and easily with no stress about wondering whether it's the right part or not. And how it works is you plug in your car's details into eBay and then just search for the part that you're looking for. And then eBay will show you a load of listings selling that exact part. And as long as you see this little green tick on the listing, that part is guaranteed to fit your car. And that's backed up by a 30 day free refund policy. So there is no stressing when buying parts using this feature. And it is slowly becoming my new favorite thing because because as many of you know, I do a lot of work on cars. So with that said, let's service the Jazz. Now, the first thing I'm gonna tackle is changing the spark plugs, I think, because this car, for some reason, has eight of them, and you've gotta take off the inlet manifold and do all sorts of things, so let's do it. So I began by removing the engine cover, and then I very quickly realized that we didn't actually have to remove the inlet manifold because I could already access the coil pack, so that was a massive relief. Right, can I just say, the engineers at Honda, they are unbelievable. They have made this so much easier than I thought it would be. I didn't have to take off the inlet manifold. I've had a Clio where the inlet manifold goes over the top of the engine and I had to take it off to change the spark plugs, but I don't have to on this car. It's so good. Everything's so easy to get to. 
I love it. Let's keep going. Now, as I said earlier, this car has eight spark plugs. So this is a bit of a longer job than it normally would be on an inline four. And if you are wondering why this car has eight spark plugs, it's basically to provide a more complete combustion of the fuel, which increases fuel efficiency and reduces pollution. So it's a pretty cool technology, but it does cause a little bit more work when changing over your spark plugs. So once I had removed all of the old spark plugs, I could then start replacing those with the lovely new spark plugs, which I got in the service kit. And once all all eight new spark plugs were in, I could then put back in the coil packs, plug them in and also get the engine cover back on and then I could move on to the oil change. So that is the spark plug change done. Now Honda made that nice and easy so it didn't take as long as I thought it would but I know what you're thinking, this engine bay is absolutely filthy and it needs a clean. I don't have anything to clean it with right now so uh, it's going to have to wait for another video but now I'm gonna move on to the oil change, so uh, let's do it. Now, as I'm sure all of you know, the first step when doing an oil change is to jack up the car, because of course you need to get underneath it to drain all of the oil and also to change the filter. So that's what I did, and I could then move on to draining all of the old oil out of the engine. Okay. No oil. So after waiting for all of the old oil to drain out, I could then move on to replacing the oil filter. So the task now is to take off the oil filter and again, Honda's engineers, they just make it in the perfect position. So this is gonna be nice and easy. And to do this, I used the old stab the screwdriver through technique and it worked a charm. Oh. Yep, there we go. That's what we're after. There we go. Finally, finally I got it. After that, it was just a matter of getting in the new oil filter, putting in the new sump plug, and then of course, filling the car up with oil. And my sister actually came up with a genius strategy as to how to do this because I didn't have a funnel. And after quickly checking the dipstick for the oil level, we were finished with the oil change. And then the last thing to do was to replace the old air filter with the lovely new one, which came with the service kit. And then I was finished. So the service on the Honda Jazz has now been completed. The car's got fresh oil, it has eight new spark plugs and it has an air filter. So that is a job well done. The car will be running a lot more reliably now, which is good. Now guys, if you do wanna get some parts for your car, make sure to check out eBay and their Assured Fit feature. Honestly, it has saved me a lot of time and a lot of stress. So if you do have a project car which you work on, or maybe it's just your daily runabout and you need parts for it, make sure to check out eBay Assured Fit. And uh, yeah, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed kind of my comeback video to YouTube. I hope you like the new car, the Honda Jazz, and uh, I'm sure we're going to do lots of crazy stuff to this car. So um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.